Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and another episode of HiQ episode 4. Uh, last time on HiQ, we were introduced to two new first years. Um, Suki and the other guy with the dark hair. I will learn his name in time, I promise. Um, we actually made some progress as far as um, Hinata and Kageyama's teamwork, right? Um, Hinata definitely, in my mind, he kind of stood up for, um, for Kageyama in that little encounter that they had with the first years. And slowly but surely, Kagema is learning to be a bit more appreciative of Hinata. He still, his personality still needs a bit of work, you know. Um, but at the same time, I, I do understand some of the criticism that he gives. Um, it'll be interesting to see his and Hinata's relationship develop over time. He is saying all the right things to Hinata. I just think he could be saying them in, um, in 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 a way that doesn't seem condescending. We were introduced to um. Um, to Suga, um, well, we, we met him before, but um, we were told that he's a setter in the last episode, and that kind of highlighted the, the you know contrast between Suga's approach and so far Kageyama's approach. And what we've seen with Suga is that he, well, I mean Tanaka has done the same thing as well, but um, Suga has been very um, open and willing to help, and you know he does point out the flaws. You know he did say to to Hinata that okay, look. Um, I understand that you know, um, Kageyama was, you know, was your rival and you saw him as the best, but um, as your best, you know, opponent, as your, you know, the, but at the same time, does that not make him your, your, you know, your greatest ally now? And just the way he broke it down for Hinata to come to the realization that, okay, hey, you're right. I, you know, he's, we're on the same team now. And if, if he was, a, he's now a powerful ally for me. And it, it just contrasts the difference between um, between Suga and um, and Kageyama. We see, we've seen Suga's interaction with um, Tanaka as well. You know, he just um, and and the same with Daichi. You know, we've seen these three interact, and they just have that playful relationship. And it's it, the argument. I, I, we can make the argument that Kageyama is new, of course, so he's new to the team. He doesn't have that relationship with the team as well. But he, he needs to to relax a bit and. Get to know the other members of the team. You can give constructive criticism without being condescending, and that's what he's been doing. I think that's the main flaw with his approach so far. Uh, I think everyone has said it that he's, you know, he he has a lot of potential, but his personality needs a, it needs work. I mean, um, Suki did say something interesting in the last episode um, about the match his um, Kageyama's last team. Um, you know. We didn't see the team itself, so I'm not quite sure what happened, but they did show us a clip of the newspaper two episodes ago um, where we saw that his team actually lost. But based on Suki's comments, it would appear as though they lost because of Kageyama. Um, so I, I do wish, I do hope that in this episode they do actually show us um, what transpired there. Um, and it may have something to do with him being rejected from the, um, from the top school which he applied to and, and they rejected him. Um, so um, I'm definitely interested in seeing how that match plays out. But this episode is going to be, I imagine, the three-on-three -three, um, uh, first years versus first year versus first years, and uh, and and one second year. I think Tanaka's second year. I'm not sure who's going to be on the team with um, with Suki, but um, definitely this is the first match that we're going to be seeing since episode one. So can't wait to get in. Let's check it out. Is this the the match that they lost? <laughs> He's dictating. He's dictating. I, I know he doesn't want to lose, but did they did they do that in the tournament? It's giving him nightmares. Must have been really bad. Match time. <laughs> so Daichi is playing with them. I see what he's made of. He really knows how to irritate everyone on the team. You <laughs> pissed off Tanaka. Alright. Eat that glasses. Made a mistake pissing Tanaka off, right? 
Definitely should not face him off. Come on, please hit it, please hit it, please hit it. Shut up, Suki. We'll find a way around him, don't worry. We're gonna keep blocking him. Uh, maybe Kageyama should start passing to, to, to Tanaka now. I mean, don't keep passing it to Hinata. Okay. Don't forget the captains on their team. Alright, so he's a, he's a solid receiver. Come on, bring it. Seriously, what is your problem? Yeah. うわさだけは聞いたことがあったけど、あの試合を見て納得いったよ。応募が行き過ぎて、あの決勝ベンチに下げられてた。で、チームでのワークオフでです、サブサブでもアウト。ちょっと待って。Just not connecting with the team and he's not trying to. Like, for real, do you've been talking a lot. As on the walk, I don't know what the hell is Suki's problem. Yeah, but you have the actual height, so stop complaining. Come on, give it to Hinata. You need to scroll one right in this guy's face. I'm here. I'm here. So, is it in? Oh, it's all damaged. <laughs> 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 step your game up, um, Suga. Well, he barely did it. He definitely needs to work on spiking after this match. でも<笑><笑> Tell him, Minato. Kageyama needs to stop holding back now. He's not alone, though, is he? Stop 
のためのセットだ。Right. Time to shut this guy up. サイントがまだねしろ。とりあえず。よし、そっちこにとっても。Kind of obvious, isn't it? よし、よしだのおばちゃんのサーブより弱い。そんで、こっちにと。ダメつ。最初からうまくいくわけねえだろ。それはどうかな Uh, they're losing a lot of points. They're losing a lot of points trying to do it, though. I don't know if it's worth it. Hinata, you are. Hansha must be the most. See any banner. Not ever. Hyako get up there. Hinata, no, son of Sbashikos at the Yubuki. Oh, my not Oscar. Korosha Terenjano. Chugate. Oh, my Girigiri, I was a decorate. I use you not play at what you are. でも素材はピカイチ。え、そんな、あ、て、なんか大げさです。これで勝ち、ヘドアニティングなさ。お前の腕があったらさ、技術があって、やる気もありすぎるぐらいあって、何より、周りを見る優れた目を持っているお前。Yeah, he sent in the tosses as he was sent to an experienced player, but Kanata is not an experienced player. これは Oh, is that a compliment? Is that a genuine compliment? Oh, you think you're a little bit of 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 a l i t t Why are you guys so negative, though? Nice. どういう <laughs> Be nicer to him now. He's still saying I, though. I don't, I don't know how much I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's going to be mad. コート上の全部を常に把握しとくのもしんどいし。けど、面白い。何ニヤニヤしてんだよ。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。ふざけんな。Straight through the block and shut him up. Alright, diversion. Tell me, Sin, please be in, please be in. Where's your mouth now, Su Suki? Where's all the talk, Suki? <laughs> Alright, there we have it, episode 4 of Haikyuu. And I, I mean, our team is getting their ass kicked. I think they're down by like 5 points. So they're not winning, but at the same time, they're, they're not winning, but they're learning. Alright?、Um, Kageyama, I have to say, Suga. 
I keep confusing Suga with Sufi. I, I get names correctly. Um, Suga continues to impress me, right? Last episode, you know, it was him sort of giving advice to Hinata. And here we see him doing the same thing with um, with Kageyama as well. Um, so maybe even to his own detriment because um, the better Kageyama gets, the more likely it is that he will be replaced by Kageyama. But he's doing it anyway. Um, and that says a lot about his character that he's not he's not thinking about, you know, me, 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 which ironically is what Kageyama keeps doing. Um, even when they, they, they hit a mo they had a moment um, with, um, with, the, with the quick attack. No, his first words or first, his first thoughts were, um, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use your abilities, um, or something to that effect, but it was still I, 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 and my, and, and he's not, he's still not thinking about we, the team. And, and that's still something that he needs to overcome, but, um, I'm definitely enjoying Suga's interaction with them and how he's teaching them and that she's, um, I, I don't know, man, I, I, I don't recall being this mature um, in um, in high school, at least not at that point in high school. And Daichi's a good, being a good leader, you know, he, when Tanaka was, he, he, he controls Tanaka whenever something, you know, something is being said that's important, that he believes the other team member needs to hear, even though it's not immediately obvious, you know, so he reigned Tanaka in and said, okay, let me finish, you know, and, and stuff like that. So Daichi's, he's a good leader and a good, apparently, his his you know his main skill is his defense his receives um so i mean every member of the team is going to have um you know a specialty something that they're really good at i'm not sure if as far as captains go in volleyball if anyone can be the captain or if the captain is you know has to be a receiver or i mean i'm going to assume that that's not the case or it could be i mean in certain sports like in, even in football i think the i mean the captain is normally um a, a striker forward but I'm not sure if that has to be the case um but captain is um seems to be a receiver he's not um uh, i mean he's not a setter obviously we don't see him spiking that's usually that seems to be what um what suki is doing but then again this is a practice match i'm not sure what his position would be on the team itself um but he definitely um holds the team together in, in the way that the captain should and, and that definitely stands out and I'm, I'm loving his interactions. I'm loving um, Suga's interaction with other members of the team as well. I do not know what Suki's problem is. Um, I, I can only assume that something he's had... I know, he's good at volleyball, right? There's no denying that. We see, even at the end there, we, we see Hinata running across the across the the, the, um, the net. And he, he was able to keep up with Hinata. To some extent, you know, he read the move, he saw Hinata was going to dive to the left, and then he went after him. So he's very perceptive, and that kind of adds to you know his jeering the other members of the team and 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 you know bringing up things that would upset them. It's because he's noticing, he notices little things, he notices what their peeves are, what gets them upset, and stuff like that. So he has a good eye, and he seems to be good at volleyball, but he just doesn't care about it. So the, the very thing that he's criticizing. Hinata for, you know, for, you know, you know, volleyball isn't for everyone and um, not everyone has the, the, the skills to, to play volleyball, but he has the skills and the perception to do it. But all he's doing is just, he just doesn't care. So, dude, if you have, you have the height and everything else that needs to do it, to, that, that you have all the tools to be good, focus on being good and less, less trash talking, right? Um, so hopefully we get some backstory on him and why he's such a pessimist in all of this um but definitely a, a good moment for kageyama and hinata they finally were able to coordinate some form of attack it's not perfect they've only they've done it twice um but i imagine this is going to be something that they can use in matches uh but it, i mean i guess it, again it still depends on who the other members of the team are going to be i we, we still haven't seen the, the full team lineup as yet um, and so i'm not even sure if nato is going to be even starting or playing um you know as, as a part of the starting team so it, it'll be interesting to see um, but I'm, I'm loving the development so far in that time kagama um kagama actually gave him a genuine compliment this time around you know said he's jealous of his his physique and reflexes and stamina and all of that so he genuinely gave him a compliment and i'm surprised i'm surprised but it's growth you know it's, it's showing growth 
Um, he still has a ways to go, as I said. He still thinks me and I in all the ways that he's doing and he's thinking. But um, <clears throat> weirdly, it seems as though Hinata is the one that's kind of um, kind of smoothing him out, kind of balancing him out. Because Hinata calls him on his shit, you know, when he, that the things that he's thinking, um, whether good or bad, but Hinata calls him out on it. Um, Hinata is a bit oblivious to the things that he seems to be saying and doing, but inadvertently it's, it's actually it's actually having a positive effect on Kageyama so I can't wait to see their um, their relationship evolve in um, as the season goes um goes on so um, be sure to post some of you guys let me know what your thoughts are on this episode you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys for the next one